going to handle a disconnect event. And what happens when a disconnection happens is that the client, before it disconnects, it emits a final event with the title of disconnect. So that's essentially what we want our server to listen for. So what I'll do here is once we've established a connection to our this socket right here, we can say um, soc um, socket dot on, and we'll see if the socket sends out a disconnect event, which we'll, we'll do before it disconnects. And if it does do that, what we can do in here is we can just say something like we can do anything we want here, but I'm just gonna say uh, console, oops, console dot log, and then I'll just say a user disconnected like this. And if I save that and then I start up the server and then we um, go to localhost 3000 and I just refresh this. And I'll just do the name uh, more prompt right here. So this is connected right now. And if I wanna just disconnect the server, um, because we don't have any dedicated features for it, I'm just gonna close this tab right here. And then this client will um, basically send out, once again, it'll emit a message saying disconnect. So if I close that now, we can see that it says a user disconnected right here. And that's because our server picked up the disconnect event and logged that to the console. So what they want us to do in this project is basically um, if this client disconnects, it wants us to um, decrement the user account and then emit that out again to all these clients. So what I'll do here is say, um, in if we go to server.js, once we've made our connection to the socket, what we can say is um, socket dot on, and then we can listen for a disconnect event. And what we want to do in this disconnect event is uh, the first thing to do is make sure that we decrement the um, counter. So in here, you just want to do minus minus and then current users, and I'll decrement the counter by one. And then what we want to do is on IO, we'll call the emit method. And we're calling this on IO because if we call it on IO or in the server, we send it out to all clients. If we call it on socket, it will send it out to the individual client that we're working with. And we, the individual client isn't even listening anymore since it's disconnected. So we want to send this out to all clients. And we just want to say, we just want to send the user count out again. And we'll just say current users like this. So if I save that now, and if I go into here and I refresh this, and then I go into the chat, okay, we can see the current users is now two. And the reason that it's two is because I've also got an incognito window right here that's also connected um, to the chat. So if I log in with that, we can also see that the user count is two. And if I were to now, um, I'm, this might not work by the way, but the logic is correct. If I just close this now, we can see that the user count has been decremented to one and it's been sent out again and this client has picked it up. So that's essentially everything you need to do for this challenge. We've basically just set up um, a way that we can update the user count if one of the users decides to dis disconnect. So if we save that and then send that off, we can see that all the tests have passed.